All right, so I want to go over an example from 8.1 uh, where we're talking about the distribution of the sample mean. So again, the distribution of the sample mean is talking about whenever you were, if you take a sample uh, and then find the mean of that sample, whereas a lot of times we're talking about just taking a sample of size one. So this would be a larger sample than size one. All right. So there's a couple of important things to remember. Uh, the mean and standard deviation, the sampling distribution of X bar. So the mean is still uh, going to be mu. So this mu sub X bar is still going to be mu. So this is important. And the standard deviation, that sigma sub X bar, that's going to be sigma divided by the square root of n. So what we're doing is we're making the standard deviation smaller because we're now looking at a uh, selection of, of several um, samples, or so we've, we've done a, a sample mean versus just a sample of size one. So I'll talk about that a little bit more as we work through this problem. Uh, it's really important that you guys remember that sigma sub x bar, that this is referred to as the standard error of the mean, okay? So the standard error of the mean is the same as this little symbol here, that sigma sub x bar, uh, which is the same as sigma over the square root of n. Okay. Uh, also, the shape of the sampling distribution of x bar, uh, if x, so if uh, your population is normal, so if a random uh, variable x is normally distributed, the distribution of the sample mean x bar is also going to be normally distributed. All right, so the problem that we were first talking about or that we're going to talk about is the reading speed of second grade students in a large city is approximately normal with a mean of 92 words per minute and a standard deviation of 10 words per minute. Now this is talking about uh, information about the second grade students in a large city. So this is gonna be our mu is 92 words per minute and our sigma is 10 words per minute. So if we were to draw what they're talking about, so approximately normal with a mean of 92 words per minute. And then our standard deviation is going to be 10 words per minute. So something like that. Pretend it's a little bit prettier. Uh, so anyway, so if we went up one standard deviation, we'd be at 102, and then 112, uh, and then 122, and then same would be true. We went below 92 words per minute. So for number 25, what's the probability a randomly selected student in the city will read more than 96 words per minute? All right, so again, I'm going to kind of just sketch out what we're talking about. So 92 is our mean. And we're wanting to find out information for 96. So 96 is going to be above that. And we want to find the probability the randomly selected student in the city will read more than 96 words per minute. So more than 96 words per minute. So the, what we care about, I've shaded in green. All right. So there's a few ways to find this information. Uh, if you're good with your calculator, you can plug in some of the information that's already given and do it that way. I'm going to do it by hand. Um, so we would do that by finding the z-score or by converting that 96 over to a z-score. So that z-score uh, is going to be the data point, so 96 minus the mean, uh, which is 92, over the standard deviation. So it's going to be 4 over 10 or 0 0.4. So our z-score is 0 0.4. All right, so here we go. I'm looking for 0 0.4. And this is going to be 0 0.40. So what I'm getting is this 0.6554 if I'm using a table. So 0.6554. But again, that is the area to the left. So all of this is 0 0.6554. So the area that we care about to the right of this line is going to be 1 minus that. So we're going to have 1 minus 0 0.6554, 
which will give us 0 0.3446. Okay, so we've got that 0.3446 is the probability that we'll get somebody reading more than 96 words per minute. Now you may notice that so far we are not talking about a sample mean, we're talking about selecting one person. So a sample of size one. So this next part, B, this is where we're actually starting to talk about a sample mean. So what's the probability that a random sample of 12 second grade students from the city results in a mean reading rate of more than 96 words per minute? Okay, well now we're talking about sample means, so things are changing a little bit. So our mean is still 92. So our mu sub x bar is still going to be 92. But now our standard error of the mean, this guy, is going to be 10 divided by the square root of our sample size, so 10 divided by the square root of 12. And I'm going to actually just keep it in that form for, for now. And let's see what we're talking about here. In picture form, it's going to look very similar. So I've got that 92 in the middle. We're looking at 96. And we're looking for the area to the right, so the uh, reading rate of more than 96 uh, words per minute. So what I'm trying to find is the probability that we're going to have a sample mean, so that we're going to select 12 second grade students, and that the mean reading rate for those is going to be greater than 96 words per minute. So we're going to need a z-score. So, and again, you can use your calculator if you want to. I'm going to do this one by hand just to kind of show what's going on. So we're going to have a z-score that is greater than or equal to the data point, so 96 minus 92, that part's the same. This is what changes underneath. So our standard deviation is no longer just 10, it is 10 over the square root of 12. And if you put all this in your calculator, uh, you're going to get that your z-score is going to be greater than or equal to, and we're just going to go to two decimal places, 1.39. So 1.39, so I'm going to come over here. So 1.39, so there's my 1.3, I'm going to go all the way across. And I see 0.9177. So 0.9177 is referring to the area to the left. So the area to the right can be 1 minus that, which is going to be 0 0.0823. Okay. Um, so again, I want to I want to point out that the big difference here is that up here in part A, we're talking about the probability of selecting one person that reads at 96 words per minute uh, whenever the mean or the average is 92 words per minute. And here, for part B, we're trying to figure out the probability that we take 12 second graders and then we, we find the mean of their reading rate. Uh, that, that mean for that sample of 12 is going to be 96 words per minute or more. So for part C, we're going to do this a very similar idea as part B, with the difference being that now, instead of having a sample size of 12, we're going to have a sample size of 24. So for part C, our mean, that mu sub x bar is still going to be 92, but our standard error of the mean, so that sigma sub x bar is going to be 10 over the square root of 24, because it's asking us for the probability of a random sample of 24 second graders. So we're dividing by the square root of the sample size. All right. So again, what we're looking at is the probability that the mean of our sample is greater than 96. And I'm going to convert this over to a z-score. So 
I'm looking for the probability that we're going to have a z-score that's greater than or equal to, and again, we've got 96 minus that 92, so the data point minus the mean over our standard deviation or standard error of the mean, which is 10 over the square root of 24. So that means we have the probability, oh, excuse me, let's, so the probability that our z-score, there we go, is going to be greater than or equal to uh, 1.96. And again, we're just going to two decimal places because we are talking about z-score. So again, if we were to draw it out, we still have that 92 in the middle, 96 over to the right. We're interested in the area to the right, but we're going to be looking up that z-score of 1.96. That will give us the area to the left. So our z-table gives us the area to the left. So let's look at that real quick. So 1.96, there's our 1.9. We're going to come underneath that 6. I'm going to get 0.9750. So 0 0.9750, it's an ugly 9, it's a 9. So that means that our area to the right of that line is going to be 0 0.025. Okay, uh, and well, we can put the 0. Uh, to go out to four decimal places. So the 0 0.0250 is our probability taking a sample size of 24, and then the mean reading speed of those 24 second graders being 96 or higher. All right, so it's asking us what effect does increasing the sample size have on the probability? And let's talk about the explanation as to why that is. Well, hopefully you're noticing that as the sample size goes up, the probability is going down. Uh, so it is becoming less and less likely that we would get a group of students that have a reading rate of 96 words per minute or more, the larger the sample size becomes. All right, so let's think about an example. Um, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step away from this problem for just a minute to kind of explain the idea of why sample mean is different than just, just taking the sample size one. So let's think about having, uh, we'll say 200 uh, women in a town. And maybe these 200 women age in, uh, from uh, 15 to 75. So these 100 women in a town that age from 15 to 75, and maybe the mean age uh, the average age is 30. So if your average age is 30 and you range from 15 to 75, the probability of going in and picking one person that's, say, older than 40 is probably pretty decent. Um, again, you've got 100 people to choose from, and it's ranging from 15 to 75. So picking one person that's over 40 may not be that difficult. But if we pick five people at random, and then we average their age, we find the mean of their age, it's going to be a little bit harder to get a sample of five where the, where the mean is over 40. And if we say that we're going to do, uh, we're going to pick, say, 30 people out of this 100, well, getting a mean that is over 40 uh, is going to be really, really unlikely. So it's that kind of idea. So that's why uh, having a larger sample size is decreasing the probability that you're going to be uh, fairly far away from the mean. All right, so let's talk about part E here. A teacher instituted a new reading program at school. After 10 weeks in the program, it was found that the mean reading rate, uh, sorry, the mean reading speed of a random sample of 19 second grade students was 94.5 words per minute. Uh, what might you conclude based on this result? Select the correct choice and fill in the answer box in your choice below. Okay, 
well, we need to kind of make sense of this 94.5 and how that relates. So again, we're still dealing with the same information as before, where we have our mean as being 92 and our um, sigma sub x bar is going to be that 10 over square root of the sample size, which is 19 in this case. And so we're trying to find, is it you know the probability of getting a sample mean that is greater than 94.5? So we want to find out if this is special or not. So we've, we've gone through, and we need to convert this to a z-score. So we're going to do the probability that we're getting a z-score that's greater than. And to convert this over, we take the data point, so that 94.5 minus the mean, 92, all over the standard error of the mean. So that's 10 over the square root of 19. And let's see if I can see. I didn't really get my... Can't really read that a whole lot, but that's 10 over the square root of 19. So this is going give to us, give us the probability that our z-score is greater than or equal to 1.09. So again, we have this idea going on. 92 we know is in the middle, because that's our mean. So we're looking for 94.5. We're going to look up in the table, in our z-table, that 1.09 which will give us the area to the left. So 1.09, 1.0, and then, oops. well, let me slide over a little bit. There we go. So 1.09, it's going to be 0.8621. So 0 0.8621, which means the area that we're interested in to the right This is going to be 0 0.1379. And so our, our choices are is that it's not unusual or it is unusual. Well, um, the probability being 0 0.0379 that there's a almost 14% chance that they could have used this and taken a sample size of 19 second graders and gotten these results. That means it's not unusual. Um, we have our standard set at 0 0.05. If we have less than a 0 0.05 probability, then it's unusual. So if it's 0 0.05 or less, but this is greater than 0 0.05. So it is not unusual because we have the uh, words per minute uh, the, the probability of obtaining 94.5 words per minute is more than 0 0.05.